Okay, Hip Hop Weekly All Access. This is your girl Brianna, and we are here live with the one and only Ra Ra. What's Dope up, Ra? What's, What's going, going on? on? I ain't nothing to the shit, man. And we like to welcome you to Hip Hop Weekly, and What's you up? know I have my hip hop enthusiasts with me as always. Enthusiasts. Guys, introduce yourself. Well, I have to go look up the word enthusiast <laughs> to make sure that that's what I am. <laughs> if anybody's an enthusiast, it's, it's that brother over there, Dion, <laughs> and this brother right here, Ra Ra. We've been we've been we've been familiarizing ourselves. With, with your work, man, and we were so excited to get get you know to talk to you. We started going in before the interview started. <laughs> but uh, tell us a little bit about um, uh, your introduction to music and how, uh, how how we got you to this point right here. I've been on a, I've been on a journey, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, for as me like reinvent myself and just. You know the motion because a lot of people don't know, and a lot of time, a lot of people tell me don't talk about it. But mm. I, I tend to talk about it more. You know what I'm saying? I started off in the game mm. when I first signed. I was 17 years old. Okay. When I signed Jermaine Dupri. Okay. And so so Delph, and um, I had my situation over there, and then you know coming from that situation, mm. uh, I just ended up rebranding myself and rebuilding and get my stuff back going. You know what I mean? I end up KP, Killer Mike, and a mm-hmm. couple of people of mine who cool with Tilt and mm-hmm. end up introducing us, and then okay. we end up putting our thing together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, was that over when you was with Jimmy, Jimmy Dupree at that time? Was that like doing time Rocco and all of them was over there? No, nah, it was it was right before Rocco. Okay, oh, okay. yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. It was right before Rocco. So, um, the 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 new mixtape is uh, dope. Dope sell itself. Dope sell itself too. Yeah, that's the brand. That's the that's the campaign we on the right campaign. now. Campaign. So, so yeah. um, Dion and I had a chance to actually listen to both of them, and um, like I said, I, I was I was I was impressed by the fact that the mu- the musicality and the lyrics are, are, um, are high. You know, like on a, on a, on a higher <laughs> level. I, I mean, I, I'm just kind of at a loss for words, but it's kind of like. I, I'm I'm just impressed by both yeah. bodies of work. Thank you, man. And they actually should Thank be you. albums. Thank you, yeah. man. Yeah, I got I got cussed out by these CDs. Yeah. You know, I'm dead. <laughs> like yeah. these CDs. Yeah. Yeah. Put it, some time in that. Yeah. yeah, they got they. I mean, my my team really didn't want me to like put this music out like that. Yeah, but see that I had to break it down to my team like. This is all we make, bro. Yeah. So this, this is what it's going to sound This is what the mistake yeah. going to sound yeah. like anyway. Yeah. I don't have no other type of yeah. music. Yeah. This is what we make. It's all going to be quality. Yeah. So regardless if it's a mixtape, EP, or, or it's going to... That's all I make. You right. know what I'm saying? And, and and you have a diverse portfolio of music, too. So it's like your, your music doesn't just go one way. It's mm-hmm. like... You know, some something's going to make it strong. Yeah, I pull, man. I like, I, like, like we were saying, like I pull from... Everywhere, right? You know what I'm saying. And then me and my partner Killer, we sit down and we like I, I, I like try to understand how many people can I reach. Mm-hmm. And when I say that, like everything, like far as the demographic of people that I could reach. And then when we realize, like, man, I can get with these young kids. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I can get with the older people. Mm-hmm. I can get with you know what I'm saying different races. I could do so much. So it's like. We we gonna reach, you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. and I'm gonna make dope sell itself yeah. over and over again in each one of those forms. Yeah. So that group and can that get makes it. So much sense. You now know what I'm you saying. Said, now that you Instead said that, just, what you know what I mean? Because yeah. because my trap, like my trap people, they they don't really. I mean, they like they understand good music. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but they understand in a certain type of way. Right. The beats would be a little bit more up tempo. Yeah. So things be a little different, rearrange a little different. So it's like I'm gonna put it to them in a way that they can get it. Yeah. And what, then, what song was that that um I heard that it was a Jodeci sample that you uh, it started out with the the you know the um harmony from from uh, I guess that's a, Dojo. that's a that's a what's that one? And then it That's went the into- one that really broke me into it. It yeah. was on the, it was on the, it was on high end low like okay. uh that's uh taught me how to teach me how to love. Yeah. yeah. Teach me how to love. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was dope because it went in. It started out like uh, it, you, you know, the song was about to go into a ballad, and then it went into uh, some this trap. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like you don't really hear a lot of people. You don't really hear a lot of people do that. Um, which, which 
which, like I said, is impressive. I mean, you know, I don't, don't want to make it seem like I'm just, you know, riding, but I'm nah, just, we you know, good man, music man. is good music. You know what I mean? I listen to people, bro. Mm-hmm. I listen to what people say. Yeah. So when I'm sitting around in conversations, just being a regular civilian, I'm listening to what, you know, more mature people have to say versus, mm-hmm. you know, younger people. And, and you know, everybody just want what they want. It's my job to... <laughs> you know, figure out yeah. way to make it what everybody want. Yeah. So I know the I know that you know doing the Jodeci sample. I know that you know people from them time periods yeah. gonna yeah. relate to that sample. Exactly. But then I'm gonna put a drum on it exactly. that, that you know the younger crowd may exactly. appreciate. But then I'm gonna go back to the lyrics, yes. the storytelling. You know, I'm just I be dissecting, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, like, like I said, the diverse portfolio. That's gonna be the theme of this show. <laughs> the diverse portfolio. <laughs> But at the up. same time, it makes sense though. It's not like it's not like you know you just do a whole bunch of songs on a on a on a on a, on a record and it just yeah you know it's random. It all kind of meshed together like chemistry. Like you now, know. The production that you've done for for both, have you done production on both of those? Yeah, I, I have. Both projects. Yeah. I mean, is it all you or is it other? The, the last whole project that I produced was uh, High End Low Life. Okay. Mm-hmm. I did that one. Yeah, I did that. This, these two right here, because of the way that I've been moving with them, I just had to use a lot more people. Okay. So I can get it done quicker because when I tend to produce my projects fully, yeah, I take time. So, and that's what I was going to ask you next. So, like your process, is it you you sit, you craft the beat, then you, you go and write? or I find this, when I make the song, I'm gonna make one song. It's gonna be one song that okay. I'm gonna be like, oh, I got a project. Okay. I, okay. It's one song that be so strong that yeah. I'll be like, oh, this is a CD right here. Okay. Now I'm just working around this. Okay. This this song right here. This yeah. song gonna be the lead off, and now I'm gonna go into what comes after this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um. Okay. Did you um? Did you you did you do Black Man? The, yeah, I did yeah, Black. That Man. was you, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that was dope. Yeah. So you <laughs> used that and you actually rhymed and performed yeah. that. Yeah. 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 In the video I'm proud of the black man too Because yeah. again Like I say We got Quavo Which people always Tend to think Quavo Never Ain't really get, talking about Yeah he talking about something talk about yeah. something He's still doing yeah. What he do Yeah You feel me So it does, he, he didn't come out of pocket Exactly And just sound It didn't sound You know Um Unauthentic. You see, and, that, and you get it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? See, and that yeah. way it made me. That what I'm trying to bring to the game. Like I'm trying to bridge this gap. Yeah. Between you know people that don't necessarily feel the same. I'm trying to make everybody understand that we all do feel the same. Yeah. You got to take time out to understand. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's a good point. Like people, people are quick to. Uh, criticize something they, that they yeah. don't understand. You just gotta take time out to you understand. Just, like before you open your mouth, try to understand it first. If you don't like it after you spend some time trying exactly. to understand it, then, then then it's fair. You know that's fair. Yeah. But, I got people uh, that ask me questions like, as "Far as my appearance, mm-hmm. like I have a tattoo on my face, mm-hmm. certain things that I got." Um, like my grandma might be asking me like, "You." You want tattoos in your face? <laughs> then now I be like, no. <laughs> <I don't." laughs> she be like, why you get it? Yeah. I be like, I don't know. That's where I was at at the but time. But then I, I realized it later because I've been through a lot of trials and tribulation. Like I take my, I look at my situation. Like you gotta take a take a pastor, right? You got a pastor that you know because he look a certain type of way or because he act a certain type of way. It's like certain people don't want to listen. Yeah, I look like everybody, yeah. so I can get to everybody. So I might not necessarily like the tattoo on my face, but the tattoo on my face make me relate to people who got them. And it so opens they doors, open to listen to me. Like, like you know what I'm per- saying? Like if you, if you and I were to go into high school, I, I just you know right, yeah. with like with the yeah, khakis exactly. and the sweater, yeah. they gonna listen to you before they listen to me. They exactly. gonna look at me like, man, this dude like super stiff. He got all khakis and yeah. Car, yeah and they and they, and see, they, they like all, the teacher. <laughs> so they go by they go by that they, they go by appearance. But we might be saying the same thing. Same thing. And this so is they go by appearance, yeah, exactly. and that's what I understand about them. Yeah. So throughout my appearance, and the way I dress and where I look, that's for the younger crowd. Yeah. Throughout my conversation, and my the way I think is how I get to the older people. Exactly. So I just you know exactly put them together. And it, and you know what I'm saying? He says that because that remember when um Saha was over there, yeah, kind of was the same thing he was yeah. saying. Yeah, and I yeah. know someone had challenged him. 
about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, you, we kind of all got a little bit nervous when. Yeah. <laughs> but you, but you still, he handled it. Yeah, he handled it. Gentlemen, he understood yeah. where he was coming from. But again, his purpose is not for his comment. His yeah. purpose is for his music and the followers and the, and the exactly. bridge. He people. has a purpose. Yeah, yeah. He, to some positive ways, you know. Yeah, you know, I'm not a maybe soul or whatever he did. I'm talking about like yeah. what he was doing, but he's trying to tell them there's a way out, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Like there was glam in it and all that, but at this time, you know, let's go mm-hmm. ahead and move forward. You know? And a lot of people like to look at us sometimes. We just a messenger. Like my partner Kelly, he asked me, you happy, bro? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't know. Am I happy? It don't matter if I'm happy, bro. I ain't put here to be happy. I'm put here to get the job done. Okay. You know what I'm saying? God put me here to get the job done. Yeah. I don't supposed to be happy. Yeah. I supposed to make sure you happy. I yeah. supposed to make sure everybody else happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to be happy later, later. You know yeah. what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, your reward later, later. You know what I'm saying? Later in life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Deep, deep later in life. I, You know what I'm saying? I told him like I... You know, I ain't no different from Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, bro. Yeah. I'm fighting for people that feel like I feel. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I ain't, am I happy? I don't know. Will I ever get to see the, the, the change that I'm saying? Who knows? But I know I'm going to fight for what we believe in. And, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, one day, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I'm influencing somebody to that feel like me. And then when I don't do it no more, they're going to be doing it. And yeah. one day we're going to get the change. That, that, you know that, what I'm saying? The, the fact that you said that, uh, it kind of put me in the mind of like the, the, the 444 album from yeah. Jake. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Jake was a straight nigga back in the day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Uh, but he can't talk like that. No. You, know? you know what I'm saying? He can't. He, he What he's saying is not going to resonate the kids. Damn. The way that it would resonate to old people. But his view was different. He was trying to get on. Yeah. I'm already on, so what can I do now to help? Yeah. You know, so now it's like almost, I'm be humble so I can be exalted. You yeah. Know? yeah. But when you yeah. jump off and you're trying to exalt yourself from the get go, you know, yeah. Yeah. you're going to get humbled a different kind of way. So yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. True. Definitely. True. True. Definitely. True. Definitely. Yeah. So this um, dope sell itself too. What 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 um what can we expect? Are we having? Are we gonna see any features or for three? I'm sorry, three. Yeah, for three. For three. Yeah, yeah. For three. Mm, I just made the first song. Like I said, I always go off the song. Right. So I got the song, this particular song, and it's it's me, Saha, and Nick Grant. Oh my god. So <laughs> yeah. Oh my you so, know those those those, 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 those are our favorites know. right now. I already know it's going down. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. I'm the one who and, and you know what? That makes sense too because yeah. all three of y'all are lyrical. It's just right. in a different way. You yeah, know what I mean? That's that's like the, the intro. Yeah. Okay. So, well, you have to send that one to me, bro. Yeah, it, 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 it's the, the beat I made for it. Yeah. It's a rap. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I already know what it's gonna do. And then, like I said, like I always think from a producer standpoint, mm-hmm. opposed to a rap. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Much people tell me how to rap good, but I I really more I'm a producer yeah. than a rapper. How, how did how did you get into the production? Was that your introduction into music? Everything I did everything at the same time. Okay. So, so my grandma bought like, me a computer when okay. I was like 12 yeah. years old, mm-hmm. and I was making I, the first beat I ever rapped on was a beat I made. So I learned yeah. both at the same time. Yeah. I kind of like I already knew how to flow a little bit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But as far as working programs and you know what I'm saying like controlling stuff yeah. I had to learn it but yeah it's all I came in doing it all the same yeah yeah yeah. Um, as far as like uh, hustle game and the relationship with hustle game how how, how did that come about um, through KP yeah. Killer Mike um, my partner Doc mm-hmm. me, me and Tilt throughout my whole career I say people always say that I remind them of Tilt that's true you know what I'm saying so exactly since true. since the first time I ever Rap. Yeah. So people's in which, you know what I'm saying? I learn a lot from Tilt. So mm-hmm. I pay attention to a lot of stuff to Tilt do. So I can understand why they see the comparison. Mm-hmm. So, you know, throughout my whole career, these people have always been trying to link me with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, when I was first coming out, when I first, the first phase of my career, I was just on a whole another level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I went yeah. I wasn't who I am now. You okay. know what I mean? So like I just didn't understand a lot of stuff then. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, but I feel like now is the perfect time 
mm-hmm. especially for who Tip is and who I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now at the perfect time where we can really sit down and help each other. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He going to tell me I'm willing to listen. Is it going to work the right way? Right. Opposed to me being yeah. a younger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Him being younger. Yeah. And yeah. we probably couldn't, it probably <laughs> yeah. couldn't have worked. You know what I'm saying? Right. But now it's perfect. You know what I mean? And throughout all our friends, you know what I mean? Cape, like I said, KP, Killer Mike, they linked us up. And then we first got in the studio. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just playing him beats and stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Playing them beats and stuff and we just end up putting together. We just end up staying in the studio. Yeah. yeah. That, that um the uh, um and I know I'm all over the place, man. I am I'm, I'm just thinking about um that black man the video with um Meek on it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh did you get a chance to meet Meek? Yeah. Yeah. I put a lot of people don't know I produce uh for me album. Oh, Both yeah. the last two that just came okay. out. Yeah. I did on the regular for D C four and then um uh, Mr. the checkup with Peter and little uh, little uh, Uzi yeah. with me, yeah. So me and me cool. Oh, yeah, I actually met Meek Mill through Tip yeah. during the um, sessions. Yeah, cause yeah. I had the, it was a sample in Black Man, mm-hmm. and then I ended up flying to L. A. because we couldn't clear the sample, and I ended up bringing the choir in and sang it. Oh, and wow. then like we just let they tip let me recreate the whole thing. Yeah. So when the Cali hooked up with Mars, he got a choir for me, all this stuff, and we just wow. redid the sample, made yeah. our own sample. Yeah. And yeah. then you know, Meek was coming in to do his verses. Then, and then he just, yeah, yeah I mean, sure we just yeah, linked up. Dope. Yeah, yeah. That was dope. Yeah. 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 Um, what I was gonna ask you as far as like being on uh, Grand Hustle and just like. All the talent that that's like on there right now. How do you? I know you. You don't want to put yourself. You don't want to compete against each other. Is it grand? Is, is it still grand hustle, or is it just hustle game right now? I always say Grand Hustle. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, that's cool. That's cool. No, I thought I'd say, it changed. I wasn't sure. I, I'm telling you, my mind yeah. worked the same thing yeah. for everything. For people who are more mature, I say Grand, Grand hustle. hustle. Okay. For people who are young, I say Hustle Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You Probably both. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah. it's both. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Hustle Guy ain't like the rebrand. Mm-hmm. The, you know what I mean? Reintroduction. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like how it was with Cash Money. Yeah. That, um, young, young Money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I guess that's what I'm, in my seat, that, that, and then, I, you know, that's when I'm looking at y'all, like, the reemergence, like, and all that talent. It's like, it's a wealth of talent. It ain't like just one person leading the ship now. I mean, anybody can almost lead the ship mm-hmm. to a certain degree. Yeah, I mean. So I'm looking at you, Tokyo Jet, um, drove, you know, that's the grandfather, but he's still hot. Yeah, and yeah. Like, I mean, you got to, in life, you know what I mean? And I say this because I always tell my people who follow me that I'm just like try to teach them mm-hmm. how to do it. You you, you got to make yourself always needed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I do too much yeah, stuff yeah, exactly. for a person not to need me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I ain't really worried about competition because yeah. it's something that he, the next person don't do that I know how to do. I don't spend all the years of my life learning how to do. So I know how to do everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So for beats, you know what I mean? If they out rap me on a song or if I feel like it's gonna out rap me, I'm just make the beat. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna still get my look. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or I'm gonna do the hook. I'm never gonna let myself not get a look. Yeah. Or if they do all that, I mean, I'm gonna come in dressed. I'm not gonna you're not gonna miss the freckle face boy with the gold teeth. <laughs> you never gonna miss me. I'm never gonna let you miss me. I don't yeah. care who around. You yeah. ain't gonna miss me. You okay. know what I'm saying? So um, it, the 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 single, I guess the the first the first single is uh, for what? Uh, I guess we saw the for Hustle Gang. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. for the Hustle Gang album, the first single was uh, Friends. Okay, I think, and then we came with uh, you, Game Seven. Yeah, you produce oh uh, Friends. Friends. Yeah. I, okay. I produce Friends. Game seven. Game seven. Sometimes. Yeah. Game seven. That's the one that I was. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes was one of my favorite um, records off the Hustle Gang album because it had Tip and Dro on it, mm-hmm. and and it was like this is the more mature part of both of them doing what people like to really really hear from them. Okay. And the, and the beat had like a DJ Tune type of forth. feel. Yeah. yeah, and they were going back and forth. Yeah. And then the odd thing is. I was actually living on Bankhead when I made the beat. Wow. 
And then I ain't never think about that. I was like, damn, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta check that out. But yeah, man, that that's one of my my, my favorite uh, records off of the Hustle Gang project. Okay. Yeah, yeah I like that Game Seven. I like the video uh, for Game Seven too. Yeah, I love when y'all that. Got, uh, when y'all had like the exotic cars yeah. and everybody, it was all white, and then um the the all white does that. So yeah, like I was like probably one of the first people to you know when we started the Hustle Gang. Mm-hmm. Project, I know it was me and Tip, and then I don't know why he did it, but I'm glad he did do it. And then you know, uh, it was me and him, and then Tokyo came, and then we just started. Yeah, and Tokyo build. dope too, man. Yeah, yeah. Tokyo, she yeah, too yeah. dope. You know, I talk to him and I just talk to her, man. Cause I want to figure that. Yeah, I want to figure that out, man. Cause she, she could be. Next, she got it. Yeah. She got it for yeah. sure. I'm gonna get in and produce with her, man. Like that's the role I play when we, excuse me, when we all get together. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I really just try to fall back into, try to enhance yeah, be, be, be the producer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just try to be Dr. Dre. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I was telling him earlier about um, how well, you were saying you made it fun, but what made it fun is that you had the interludes on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doing that, they're like, I just want to make a song, 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 song. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But when you look at the crime, I mean, he might have had maybe 12 songs on there, but the rest of them was yeah. there. It was live. It just and felt. It kind of brought you into the next yeah. song. He felt like you were there. Yeah, and, and, it, and, it, and it's not like it's the end of the yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you remember that, what was it, the twenty twenty five thousand yeah. dollar pyramid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, that, that. I was gonna say, I just, um, you were talking about um, the people coming on the hustle, yeah, 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 Tokyo Jazz, and yeah, Tokyo Jazz, Joe. Well, Book, Book, been Book, our, yeah. Book was already uh, my poet. Of Grand Hustle, okay, and yeah, also that, London J. That's not Boo that was from New Orleans. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh-huh. It's Young Boot. He uh, was already a part of a Grand Hustle. Also, uh, London J was already a part. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But then we just started, you know, building and okay. building. You know what I mean? And then, you know, I brought Rossi okay. to the fold. Um, yeah, well, me and Tilt, man, I just always, he know that I want to be, you know, learn the business. That's that what I want to get into. Like, yeah. what, what, what next steps are you trying to do? Like, I see yeah, you got, I, mean, I, know you, I know you were saying that the hoodie is merch, but that's, that's a, it's a fly hoodie. Yeah. Is that, so I, I is that something clothes. that you, you design clothes? Yeah, I design yeah. clothes. So with my merch, with my merch too, I always make it look like fashionable. Yeah. Instead right. of just like a rapper. Just like somebody. A rapper name yeah, on it. And you yeah. just, you know what I mean? Because that, that, I mean, that's something I rock at. Yeah, you know, and I always try to make it look fashionable. So yeah, yeah. I'm into the fashion real heavy. This year, this year, man, I do I do a lot of things. I got a couple producers signed to me. Mm-hmm. I got a couple artists signed to me, and I got my clothing line. So this year, I'm going to just focus on producing more. You know, mm-hmm. dropping my projects, letting the world, you know, catch up with my brain, and, and I'm going to release some clothes this year. Okay. Uh, Slump, that's just, that's just like a little thing I like to say. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For the group of people, like my fans, who feel like they just like me, Yeah. I like to call it Slum Dog Millionaires. Yeah. Well, well I, I have to say, man, you, you know, you we, 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 we're new fans, man. And, um, Appreciate it, man. We definitely, we definitely <laughs> going to continue to follow the music. Appreciate well, it, man. I got a long way to go, man, but I'm, I'm telling you, like, if everybody who been down, yeah. like, just stay tuned. Everybody who coming now, it's going to be a journey, man. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the artists that I'm not afraid of nothing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm, I'm secure with who I am as a person. Yeah. So, like, how you have... You know, I don't know. I really just can't explain it, man. No, we go no, throughout the journey. You yeah, gonna see yeah. that progression. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna progress, man. And then I like sit down with people. Yeah, like Dunn Cannon for one. Like Sometime. I was sit down with Dunn Cannon for about a year, a year and a half, and he put me on game for his producer. Yeah, and then I sit with Killer Mike for a year and a half, a year, and he'll put me down with the knowledge. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Then I sit with he. Teach me how to be an artist. Like I take time to sit down with people. That's that, and, and, and you know that's 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 being a student of the game. And yeah, a lot of times people don't understand the value of being in the room. You yeah, know what I'm saying like yeah. you, you have to. You, once you get in the room, 
you don't necessarily have to be the loudest person in the room. Yeah, you don't. Know, just so being there and like just imagine, right? So, that if you was in the room with Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, what you would have came out with. You know what I'm saying? That that's the type of thing that you have to think. I mean, about. I gotta be last year was one of the best rooms I ever been in. I yeah. actually got to go to Jay Z house oh, stop. last yeah. year. Wow. So yeah, what was that like? Let <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was cool in there. You know? <laughs> I was cool. You know, I you know, was like, yeah, yeah, sorry. You so down. <laughs> when Till asked me to go, like, we was at a Rock Nation branch, and, okay. and yeah. we were just chilling, and he was taking me to the Rock Nation to meet people and stuff. Okay. And then, like, the whole time, we were chilling by Jay-Z. I'm like, okay, yeah, okay. it's all right. So later, he was like, we finna leave, man. We gonna go to Jay's house. Oh, I was like, who? Jay who? <laughs> he was like, Jay, nigga, we gonna go to Jay's house. I was like, all right. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, I'm just holding it in, acting like yeah. it's all good. I turn out, pull up in the driveway, and actually go in the house and mm-hmm. sit in the living room. And I think he was like, they was making, <clears throat> Khaled was there. Yeah. Jay was there. Yeah. The, you know, Jay got a small circle t- and Tilt was there. Yeah. And I think like the game, like this, I'm going to remember this for yeah. the rest of my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like the game was on. Yeah, and uh, they was making shots. Everything Kelly was in making shots. Yeah, yeah, it was a moment. <laughs> it was a moment for me anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kelly was in making the shining record. Yeah, okay, okay, wow. And uh, Jay would he he put out he did verse or whatever. He was just he says he says something to me like, yeah, you gotta be poor. You gotta be you know so you gotta be jamming on this one. Yeah. And yeah. I was just like, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got a jam on it, but he gave me a drink, man. We were just, it was cool, man. Yeah. That day right there, and I thank Tilt for that day, cause like that day right there, it made me understand that I don't really care how long my process take no more. Right. I know I'm going. I know I'm gonna make it. Going? I know exactly. that I don't get to see stuff like that for yeah, no reason. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. Then also like in the same, I built a relationship with Diddy. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Um, I end up posting some on Instagram, and then Diddy end up hitting me in my DM, and mm-hmm. then we switch numbers, and he end up Facetime me, mm-hmm. and we end up we we cool now. Like we he, we end up talking, and you know what I'm saying. One night we stay on phone for like two hours, and we just you know. Motivating each other, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he telling me where he seeing me, like where he can, yeah. where, I, where, where I can be better and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm also telling him, you know what I'm saying? So between the Jay Z moment, uh, the Diddy moment, and you know, till I yeah. mean, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, got, like, got, I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. Right. I just need to work now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got to go get that now. You know what I mean? That, that showed me that we here for you yeah. when you, 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 you go do your, your work you like know? remember we told you yeah, yeah yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. so from now man it's just like me and my team getting together and really yeah. just you know laying the smack down man just putting out music you spreading the brand you know what I mean yeah that's dope man and, yeah. Um, yeah like I said man we we, we, we definitely are uh, fans of music at Hip Hop Weekly and we do whatever we can to support hey, man I'm going for it always man Hip Hop Hip Hop Weekly I always support Hustle Gang Grand Hustle and um, you know I'm Appreciate y'all for supporting me too, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever we could do too, bro. Whatever we can always do to help. Yeah. We just gonna keep building the relationship, man. Yeah. One yeah. thing about me, man, I, I always been loyal. Like once I build a relationship with people, I don't believe in letting relationships go bad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Way, I, don't, I don't believe in it. Way, I don't give like I, I know I'm not gonna do nothing that make a relationship go bad. And I know that people that I pick to have relationships with, yeah. they ain't gonna do nothing it's too bad that to make it go bad. Yeah. So once I link with people, man, we locked in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same here, man. Same yeah. Here. Definitely. Um, so tell, tell the people how they can actually um, get stay in contact with you, how they can actually get the, um, the, the records. Project. The yeah. Project. Uh, so you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, everything all the same. Dope Boy Rod, D-O-P-E-B-O-Y-R-A, Dope Boy Rod, and one Dope Boy Rod on Twitter. And also, I just launched my website that'll be having... Uh, Exclusive music, mm-hmm. merch, you know what I'm saying? Just everything that me and my label doing. Um, it's called dot net. It's mm-hmm. D-O-P-E-S-E-L-L-I-T-S-E-L-F. So dot net. You can get all the latest music, mm-hmm. all the merch, and all the, you know what I'm saying, the albums, everything on now. So that's it, man. And dot Sell Itself 3 is on the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. everybody, like, I got this thing that I do. Um, 
you know, it's funny stuff that they that I always heard people say like you like street dudes or dope boys, they like never you know, they only do special stuff on holidays. Nah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's like they only go to church on holidays yeah. and stuff like that. So I I mean, I always drop the project on holiday. Okay. So it'd be like on Thanksgiving I drop the first one, then the Christmas, then yeah. you know, so I mean the next holiday they'll probably be the next Dope Seller Cell yeah. 3 come out So yeah. you know what I mean I'm just dropping them man And building them This one right here I'm gonna reach Like the first one Because I feel like When me and Tip Like kinda introduced me It's like I did The Jimmy Kimmel I did the Apollo I did all this big stuff You know what I'm saying And you know Like I just feel like I need to step all the way back mm -hmm. And let my fans see me grow Instead of just go so big So quick mm -hmm. You know what I mean So with those Sell Cell 1 With their hearts You know what I mean Yeah like, yeah yeah, yeah. Their hearts. So with those Sell Cell 1 Like that's more Trap Street yeah, And yeah. then with 2 You get a little bit more So this one right here Is going to be kind of like A mix of both Okay You know what I mean It's going to okay. be trapped out And it's going to be real At the same time You know what I mean Nick Grant, and, um, That's the intro To Dope Selling Cell 3 So Sahai, Yeah that's yeah. it right there I just we, Me and Saha Were just together mm -hmm. And then me and Nick Grant Getting together tonight When I leave here So Okay Yeah man It's about to be magic man You know what I mean yeah. Man I know like people Really rooting for People like me and Saha and, yeah, and Nick Grant, though. Definitely. Saha had one of the best saying. records this year. Yeah, he did. He did, Easy man. And me and Saha down. grew up together. Yeah. Okay. So, you know what I mean? Me and him grew up together, same hood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got the same story. So, yeah. I definitely want to see him win, too, exactly. bro. You know what I mean? And exactly. We just do whatever we can to help each other. Yeah, you know still I mean? sharp and still. Yeah, man, definitely. Yeah. Decatur in the building too, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? It always been Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't taking them for Atlanta, you know what I mean? But this is the thing where we where we breaking this Decatur movement. You know what I'm saying? It's like a it's a different sound, man. Like, yeah, man. Really, it's like it's really it's lyrical. lyrical. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. It, yeah, that's a good it's one. Because yeah, you got it's the Saha, yeah. they got you, they got Roy, they got um what's my man, Child Scan B. Yeah, and then we got like some new people that twenty or twenty one two 21 from the same hood yeah. I'm from too okay. uh, We got New Eastside Jody He coming Eastside Jody My yeah. boy Hollywood Rico coming You know what yeah. I'm saying I got so my partner B Yeah yeah. My partner Bino coming yeah. We got like it's a, it's a bunch of people man You know yeah. what I'm saying So we just You know Between me and Saha And the people that's You know A little bit more Known Yeah Like we just gotta take it up On ourselves To just help the, Help the team Get yeah. there You know what I'm saying yeah. So I know every chance I get I don't need to speak it On somebody from the cater exactly. Uh Repping the cater, man, because you know it's a, it's 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 Atlanta, but it's the cater too, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying, the cater got something to say. <laughs> yeah, money man, yeah, 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 yeah. Money man, money man grew up with us too. So shout out to money man yeah. too, man. One thing about Atlanta, man, is like people be like, man, y'all got so many rappers, but everybody know each other. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We ain't got like, ain't like we, we like beefing and fighting. Yeah, they do yeah. little neck dough to me. Like yeah. Atlanta putting out so many rappers that yeah. your neck dough neighbor might be. <laughs> <laughs> you like yeah. you got neck, neck dough? You just on TV? Yeah. Like we putting out rappers, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it because of the system that we got in Atlanta. Yeah. It's like if you History, got it, yeah. if you known for something. You can make it in the rap. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody gonna come support you. Exactly. Point blank, period. Like when I put out the stuff, the hood it. gonna support yeah, it, the then it gonna, gonna grow from you, that. Yeah. Everybody gonna jump on. And that's how we keep, you know, like putting out records. And we ain't got all that crazy beef going exactly. on. Exactly. And all this, that, and that. You know, exactly. rappers it, gonna be it, rappers. If it is, it gets squashed real Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Rappers gonna be rappers, you know what I mean? Ego gonna be ego, but it ain't gonna get out of control. Yeah. Because it's the family in Atlanta is too big. Yeah. Like you you can't be with somebody because his cousin hang with y'all and the cousin hang with me. So they're like, we ain't gonna be. You know what I mean? They be like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. But shout out, man. Hip Hop Weekly. Shout out to Grand Hustle, Hustle Gang. Shout out to Street Dream. You know what I'm saying? Don't sell itself three on the way. Y'all already know Dope Boy Rod. You dig? Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate it. Good, man. Yeah, it's like, it's a great conversation. Now, man. Yeah. We finna put this, this record together, man. This is crazy, bro. Like 20 miles.